Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial for this look, and this is inspired by um, a video by Kimbra, who is most commonly known as the girl in the Somebody I Used to Know video, but she actually is um, one of my favorite kind of new artists that I've been listening to lately, and this is inspired by a look that she wears in a video of hers um, for Good Intention, and I really like the song, it's kind of catchy, it has kind of like a 50-ish I don't know, I guess kind of vibe. Um, yeah, so her makeup look um, was kind of similar to this, kind of like a gold, reddish, pink eye thing going on. Um, so I did it, of course, to my liking and everything, but if you guys want to know how to do it, then just stay tuned and here's the tutorial. Okay, so first things first, I went ahead and just applied a primer. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Vanilla Pigment from MAC. Um, any sort of like goldy shimmer color was fine, but this one is just my favorite thing ever. So I'm just using that on a flat brush, and this is going to go all over my lid. Sort of just up to my crease. Do you hear that? Yeah. Okay, so then once that's applied, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into into this eyeshadow. This is one from MAC. I'm pretty sure Cranberry is pretty close to it. This is Sweet Chestnut. This came out with Cult of Cherry like years and years and years ago, but um, I'm just yeah, pretty sure... Uh, what did I say? Um, cranberry is close. So I'm just going to take that on a pencil brush and this is going to go right into my crease. And this eyeshadow is also going to go just slightly underneath my eye as well. And then once that's just sort of lightly placed, the next thing I'm going to do is just take a fluffy brush and start blending that color out. Okay, and then because I want it to be just like a little bit more pink, I'm going to start using just a couple pinkish red um, eyeshadows just to add a little bit of that kind of shade into the top because I noticed that it was more pinkish red. And then the next I'm going to do is I'm going to use a black and really work that into the inner corner. So I'm just using Bulletproof from Sugar Pile just on a pencil brush. And that's going to go right into the outer V of my eye and then it's going to get darkened up quite a bit. And you also just kind of want to lightly bring it outward so it kind of elongates the shape of your eye. You get more of a cat eye look. And then once that's done, just take a bit, like various brushes and just kind of use them to blend everything together. So you want everything nice and seamless. You can just take like a, I use like a big fluffy brush like this to blend out um, any edges around. So you can go ahead and use whatever you like and then just blend the crap out of it. And then once the eyeshadow is blended how you like, the next thing to do is to just add a line of black eyeliner just along the top. Just kind of a thin line. And then once that's lined there, then the next thing, I'm just going to take a black eyeliner and apply it to my bottom lashes. Or sorry, to my bottom waterline. And then as well, I do it up in my upper waterline as well. And then after that, I'm going to apply a bunch of mascara and apply false eyelashes. And the ones that I'm using, I believe, are the 44s from MAC. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you how to finish up the rest of this look. Okay, and then once the eyes are done, that is kind of how it looks. And basically to finish up the look, um, I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows with um, Espresso, which surprisingly kind of matches my natural hair. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I feel like it kind of rounds up this look because Kimbra in the video actually has pretty dark eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and fill mine in. Okay, and then once the eyebrows are filled in, the eyes will kind of look like this. And then for the rest of the face, I just wanted to choose sort of like a plummy um, colored blush. So I actually ended up kind of making my own. I used a little bit of pink and red from Sugar Pill and a little bit of this kind of brownie sort of bronzer kind of color. And I just went in right underneath my cheekbone. She has really, really awesome facial features. 
which I do not have whatsoever. But um, so yeah, I just kind of kind of fake it a little bit and pop it like just right underneath your cheekbone. So it kind of gives that sort of line that I don't naturally have. <laughs> And then once that color is placed, then the next thing that I did was I used this vanilla pigment, which is the same color we used on the lid, as a highlight, because I noticed that she had some nice highlight right there. I have to sneeze. <laughs> and then I'm also going to use this right underneath the brow as a brow highlight as well. This is a really, really nice color. And then for the lips, her lips are kind of like a plummy ish color so I'm using this lip liner from NYX this is called Plum ironically enough so I'm gonna use this and fill in my lips with it as well then once that lip liner is on then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this lipstick this is uh, Viva Glam Cindy it's not really like a harsh red but it's gonna add a little bit of color add a little bit of shine on top and then even more so on top of that I'm going to use this from Lime Crime this is um, candy apple lip gloss and I'm gonna put this right on top of that just like that um, and that kind of sort of wraps up the look um, I quite like it it's really nice um, the eyes are something that I would definitely wear out I don't know if I'd wear it full with the lips um, or kind of leave them blank but um, I definitely really like this quite a bit and uh, yeah so if you guys like this tutorial let me know in the comments and if you try it out feel free to leave a video response um, yeah so hopefully you guys are doing good and until my next video I will talk to all of you soon